Time now for an update on what's been happening in the world of sports. For that, we have our sports editor, Paul Neat, joining us in the studio. Welcome, Paul. Hello there. Let's first start with AFC Asian Cup in Qatar. South Korea are through the semifinals. Yes, they beat Australia on Friday to book their place in the semifinals. But it was another comeback win and another late, late goal that's helped them through. At Al Janoub Stadium in Al Wakra, South Korea fell behind to a Korea Goodwin goal just before half time. It looked to be enough to send the Socceroos through, but deep into injury time, Korea were awarded a penalty. Son Heung Min was brought down in the box, up stepped Hwang Yee Chan to convert and force extra time. It was roles reversed for Korea's winner in the first half of extra time. Hwang Yee Chan was fouled and Son Heung Min converted what is now a trademark free kick. Son, as well as fullback So Young Woo, were named in the AFC's best 11 for the quarterfinals for their efforts. Korea, though, they'll play Jordan in the semi final on Tuesday local time. The two teams, of course, met in the group stage, and Korea needed a late equaliser to salvage a draw. Elsewhere, Iran beat Japan 2-1 on Saturday thanks to a last-minute penalty. They will play Qatar in their semi-final on Wednesday local time. All right, and staying with football, a Premier League star appears to be on the verge of signing, uh, uh, signing with a K-League um, club. Yes, you're quite right. Former Manchester United and England star Jesse Lingard arrived in South Korea this afternoon. He's reportedly set to sign for K-League One club FC Seoul. Now, Sky Sports brought the news on Friday that a move to FC Seoul was possible, but the Daily Mail reported the next day that Lingard, who played over 230 times for Manchester United and won domestic and European titles with the club, had offers from 26 other clubs. But the 31-year-old posted a picture on his Instagram story on Sunday, local time, of what appeared to be him boarding a Korean Air flight at Heathrow. Lingard touched down at around 4.30 p.m. this afternoon, ahead of finalising the deal. He was given a hero's welcome from thousands of fans at the airport and even signed some autographs. Lingard, who appeared and scored at the 2018 World Cup for England, has been a free agent since leaving Nottingham Forest last July. And moving on to figure skating, a long-awaited medal for Cha Chun Huan. Yes, you're quite right. Uh, at the ISU Four Continents, Cha finished third in the men's free skate. This earned him a bronze medal, his first at the competition in two years due to an ankle injury. In Shanghai, China, on Saturday, Cha Junwan earned a points total of 177.65, made up of a technical score of 91.77 and an artistic score of 85.88. The judges, in particular, liked his quadruple Sao Kao. Uh, but Yuma Kagiyama of Japan finished first, and Shun Sato, also of Japan, finished in second. Up next is the World Championships next month in Montreal. Mm -hmm. In uh, speed skating, Kim min Sun has ended the season strongly. Yes, she finished second in the World Cup standings. Uh, this is thanks to a silver medal in her season finale on Sunday in Quebec, Canada. Kim finished second in the 500 metres with a time of 32.91 seconds. Femke Koch of the Netherlands finished first, but only by two tenths of a second. But Kim finished first on Saturday, ahead of Femke Koch, to win gold in the 500 metres and also set a new track record of 37.69 seconds. This weekend's action was the sixth and last World Cup event of the season. Kim in Son won eight medals in total, including three gold. And finally, to baseball, a Shohei Otani could make his Dodgers debut in the MLB's Horror Series. Yeah, after his uh, very big money move from the Angels to the Dodgers, and as reported by MLB.com, Otani says he's very confident of being the designated hitter against the Padres in Seoul next month. Otani is still recovering from elbow surgery, so can't pitch, but could make an impact at the plate. His 10-year, $700 million contract is the biggest in baseball history. All right, nice roundup. Thanks, Paul. See you next time. Thank you. See you.